It's time, baby. It's time for Little City Skylines 2 all day. With an asterisk. All day because this is the most that I have seen of this game. And when I hit that new game button, there's been a lot of info floating around on Steam and on the City Skyline subreddits that there's performance issues. So we'll see. We'll see. How will I be with my frame rate? As long as we're getting 9 FPS, great for branding. We'll probably try to continue. Um, but City Skylines 1 came out shortly after SimCity 2013 came out. And SimCity 2013 was just so disappointing if you'd played the previous SimCity games that had a lot of surface area to make a really big city. SimCity 2013, you can only do such small stuff. It was so sad. Um, but then City Skylines came out, and it was just like everything that I've ever wanted. Uh, and then I played maybe for about a year afterwards and had not really touched City Skylines since, so I'm excited to play. Let me just pour myself some water. Here we go. Dude, this is it. I never have to leave my back room. All I do is sit here rehydrating out of this enormous mug, playing City Builders. Mm. All right, go, go, go. Archipelago, Haven, Barrier Island, Great Highlands, Lakeland, Mountain Village, Windy Fjords, Waterway Pass. Oh my God. Okay, so just yell at me. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What's the easiest thing? Buildable area, 16%, 41%. Fjords? You want to do the fjords? Only 21%. Wow, there's some fjord gamers over here. You got it. Fjords. It's fjord o'clock. Oh my goodness, are we going to name a city? Are we going to name a city? Uh, Hickther. Hickther, can you give me the first letter of nine? We are going to be a nine-letter city. Hickther, at me. At me. And if you want to name one of the letters to our city, go ahead and give me that one. Come on, Hickther says Y. Perfect. And be sure to use at Day9 TV when you do that. Oh, Regiosgur says I want to contribute. Your name's always hard for me to parse. Please give me the second letter. Afterwards, we're going to have you be sad. Be sad. You're going to give me the third letter, the third letter. Um, and be fast. Come on, be fast. Pay attention. If you're going to be, if you're going to be participating, you got to be on the money. We, I need to play this game. Y G Yug. Great, that's perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, let's see, Sadby just gifted us. Sadby, please give me the third letter. Please give me the third letter. You, you, you goo, you goo. <laughs> that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, I see that there was a gifted sub from Infinite Blamo. This is the last single gift sub bribe that we'll take. Infinite Blamo, give me letter number four. If you want to bribe me to do a letter, it has to be at least five gifted subs. It has to be at least five. See, Joe Lock gets it. Joe Lock gets it. Uh, Infinite Blamo choose a P. Yugup. There it is. Oops, sorry. Yuguo sounds way too realistic. Yugup. That's perfect. Oh, Joe Lock, please give me give me a letter here. Joe Lock, please at me with your next letter. Oh, Metroplex, wonderful. You'll be coming up soon, but but hang on. We we have four of nine. Four of nine chosen so far. Where are you, Joe Lock? You give me a letter? Gotta go with a strong J. Of course. Gup. That's exactly the way that you want to start a city, especially when we don't even know if the performance will hold up when we get into the game. Metroplex 701 has gifted us five subs. Metroplex, come on. Give me give me what is the sixth letter of this. Sixth letter. Come on. Come on. We're waiting. Every We're all waiting. We're all staring at chat, Metroplex. Be sure to at me. And if you've done it before, do it again. Do it again. Do it twice. Or maybe you're just a kind person that, um, and please type it in caps. I can't tell if that's an L or an I or a pipe symbol. It's an, it's a, uh, give me one of the 26 letters of the alphabet. One of the 26, Metroplex, give me one of the 26 letters of the alphabet in caps. Oh my God, give me one of the 26 letters of the alphabet. I'm wondering if I can have the control key be, you can't, you can't do it. It's an L, perfect, that's what I want. And what if it could be, what if it could be a division symbol? You know, an obelisk. Mm -mm, we don't do any obelisks here. We are not an obelisk gamer. We are straight 26 A to Z kind of kind of fella over here. Yeah, we're not wingdings. Wait a minute, you said L. You gupjil. Oh, good old you gupjil. This is perfect. Good old you gupjil. A Dradog says, uh, could it be an up arrow? No. But I will uh, invite you, Dradog, to give me warmly the seventh letter of this name. 
you gave an arbitrary suggestion that I got to shoot down, and so I want something good from you. What about the letter U? It's not a real letter. Just in the same way that all the Nordic countries are also imaginary, like Narnia. Um, A. Perfect. Yagutjla. Oh, look at that. Unsimulacrum just gifts us five gifted subs. What do you mean, wah? Yeah, yeah, I I'm an American, so all the Nordic countries to me are basically Maine. Uh, let's see here. Unsimulacrum, give us <laughs> the eighth letter. Sean, haven't you traveled there? Yeah. Uh, anyways. <laughs> A J, that's perfect. Yigupjlaj. <laughs> Oh, wait, that was Blue Drop Demon. That was someone completely random who just edited me. Okay, never mind. Uh, unsimulacrum. Uh, uh, unsimulacrum. Uh, you said Q. <laughs> you got Jal... Jalak. Jalak. <laughs> That's really good. We have one more letter. We have one more letter. I can't believe you snuck in there, Blue Drop Demon. Man, that's, that's rough. So it's just Klingon. How about a space? Uh, uh, space is not one of the twenty-six letters of the alphabet. Who should choose the final letter? This is, this is a great. This is a great uh, inquiry. Let me do this. Oh, Cronax gifted five. Perfect. Cronax, close us out strong. What's that final letter? What's that final letter? Cronax forty-two. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. Cronax forty-two. U. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's let's figure out how to pronounce this. Gubge. Lock you? Or is it, uh, is that J pronounced with like a ha? Huh? Is it like Yagup Halaku? What is it? What is this? What is this word? Michelle Ridge says, oh my word. Yeah, what is this word? Um, ask Google Voice to pronounce it. I don't trust Google. I really don't. If I wanted to figure out how to pronounce it, what I'd have to do is type how to pronounce this and then put Reddit at the end. Hey, don't you start. All right. Tutorial options. So this is... <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think it should be pronounced Y-Gup. That's definitely the first two syllables. Y-Gup. Jalak you. Because that is that is the almost certainly worst way to pronounce it. <laughs> Y-Gup. Y jalak you. That's really good. Y-Jup. Jalak. y this is hard to say, even though I've said it like three or four times. Why gup jalak you? Why gup jalak you? Why gup jalak you? Perfect. That is also, as aforementioned, a fictional city in the fictional country of Finland. Why gup jalak you? <laughs> Swasha says, I don't know. Why gup jalak you with you? <laughs> Sheriff, Sheriff, quiet. Come here. Sheriff, my cat has decided. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. My cat has decided to start screaming. So I have to take some energy out of the cat. Oh, yes, this is great. Why gup jalak you? Um, uh, Ghosty, there's a cue after... Or there's a U after the Q. All right, welcome to City Skyline 2. This is the place to build a city of your dreams. Take on in-depth challenges of managing city services and directing traffic flow. And follow the lives of your citizens. Tutorials are here to guide you as you take first steps towards building a city. As you progress, more hints and guidance becomes available in case you need it. Let's build. Okay, before you start... <laughs> Let's look at how to move about your landscape using camera controls. If at any time you feel like turning the tutorials off or on again, you can do so from the pause menu. Here I can look in the top right corner. Excellent. Uh, let's see, as long as my FPS is good, I think we're good. Oh my god. That is choking on my computer. You see that? Uh, 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 uh. Crisp. Uh, Sheriff. Sheriff, be quiet. My cat has just decided to start meowing at all times. All right.
What were other things that were causing frame rate drops? Okay, so let's... Medium. Okay, uh, and then we're going to have uh, V-Sync off. Oh, I love, I love gaming. Uh, uh, let's see, depth of quality disabled, motion blur disabled. Um, let's see, what are some other things that we can do? Global illumination disabled. Um, let's see here. Shadows, 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 quality disabled. Oh, God. Shadows look really good. Oh my god, my cat is upset. Uh, should I have FPS on the top left? No, I can't. So. Dude, let me at least put this to low, because like shadows do a lot. Okay. So we're getting a lot of screen tearing. One second. Oh, sorry, I had to pull up my pants and yell at the cat. Okay, so, um, I'm actually going to put on vertical sync. Wow, I'm still getting some screen tearing with V-Sync. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Great job, you're now ready to start your first city. There it is. To guide you through your steps, we have prepared a task list for you. I love tasks. Start a task by selecting play. Complete the steps to unlock the feature. You'll see hints along the way that point of useful information. All right, so what am I covering? I'm covering the money. Seems pretty important. Man, this, I mean, this is just... It's not running horrifically, but it, I mean, it, it's, it's running a little bad. Let me go ahead and shrink myself. All right. Uh, Rose. Dude, Sheriff is gonna be the death of me. She's just decided to scream at all times. A city exists around roads. When you build a road, a cell grid appears on the land next to it. This is the area where you can build on. Most roads also come with a built-in utility network. Okay, great. There are cables and pipes for water and sewage, so all buildings connect to the road. Great. That's kind of interesting, because I'm kind of used to the idea of, like, building all my water and electricity and all that sort of stuff. All right, different sizes and configurations. Cool. You know, and I love that they are locked. I think this is like one of the best things that you can do in a game that's really complicated to make me feel a sense of progress. I unlock more complexity. All right, nice. See, it's, it's kind of funny because it's snapping on and I saw it snapping and I was like, oh my God, the frame rate is so bad on the, no, it's not the frame rate, it's just snapping. Two lane roads is a basic road. Two lanes, one in each direction, street lamps on one side. Is there any ability to increase the size of... Thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Two lane roads, basic road, two lanes. Yep, easy to build. Can only be supported with low amount of traffic. Selecting road, keep an eye on the information. Great. Hey, Borg leader. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for the 10 gifted sub -roomies. Easy to use to help you build exactly how and what you want. Different options are available for you. Whoa! Oh my god, yes. Them poor old eyes. Dude, I've always been a large text gamer. This is not at all 
an aging thing. This is the industry going insane thing. Like the industry has absolutely decided that the most microscopic text humanly possible is the right way to do it. I'm gonna pull down the volume in this game a wee bit. Uh, different modes help you build roads in various shapes. Select the mode according to the shape you want. You can always switch to a different mode at any time. All right. <coughs> this mode can be used to change any road you have already built to a different type. No need for the bulldozer. Ah, I don't have to destroy my city again. Turn replace mode on and select a new road type in the roads menu. Select a selection of existing road. Place new road. Will be made. Okay. Yep. Elevation down. I don't think it should be showing me these. Like, I play games to play games. I don't play games to read 12 steps before I do one thing. Alright. Construct tunnels. Okay. Different elevations. Especially handy. Yep. This is actually... I like this quite a lot. That I can just set it. Dude, this is the steepest road of all time. <laughs> How's my cat, by the way? For any of you worried about my cat, went to the vet. She is healthy as can be. The vet was annoyed that I wasted his time. I couldn't have been happier. Only cost me 50 bucks, too. Elevation up. Construct overpasses and ramps. Oh, I can go under? Oh, wait. Wait a day. So I can create like a multi-tiered underground network. So then if I go up like this. Dude. I didn't connect them. I didn't connect them at all. Because I was at the wrong elevation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, but that's okay because with the replace tool... Is this? Oh, God. Here, let me just go to the next one. Wait, what, what, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the replace tool? Ah, yes. Select, select new road type from the roads menu. Okay, where, where is the bulldoze menu? Where's the bulldoze? Oh, my God. Where, how do I destroy what I have done? Oh my god, I've already lost the city skylines. Oh no. Why Gup Jalaku is just struggling, man. New roads only. Alright, everything's permanent. That's 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 a hardcore. This is the Dark Souls of City Builders for sure. Um, alright, so let's. Alright, so let's let's build some roads. Because I mean, I'll be honest, I don't really care about this. So if I build like this and then okay hold on hold on watch this let's go up 20 meters baby so I wonder why it won't let me build there ah I see because it's too steep so great build like that uh oh uh oh Hold on, hold on. Watch this. Okay, look. We got ourselves our elevated. Oh my god, dude, this. Yo, this is sick. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Down, 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 down. I mean, this this is not going to look nice, but it's going to be sweet, okay? <laughs> this I'm building this city for you. This should connect to the main road, certainly. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, that is so sweet. 
All right, uh, this 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 area of town right here we, is gonna get completely demolished. Nice death trap. Yeah, dude, <laughs> you know, like why would you ever go down here? Why would you literally ever go down here? That's crazy. All right, parallel mode. This mode takes two. The selected rows run perfect. So wait, wait, decrease offset? What? Oh my You're God! This would be second moon radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle and J. Thomas Hornbuckle. The finest classical music on the air. Keep what? that dial right here. Before I play the next track, I just want to give a shout out to your privacy. Use NordVPN. <laughs> I didn't realize I was playing GTA. I just suddenly was like, by the way, I'd like to remind you, you're playing a video game. No, I know. I just keep the music going. I just keep it going. I don't need. I don't need this. Okay, so this is sick. Snapping. These options can help fine tune the shape of your roads. Okay, so what? What is? So this would be snapping on. So I can't actually hover over any of this stuff. Okay. Snap to 90 degree angles, snap to zoning cell, snap to existing geometry, snap to the sides of buildings, snap to guidelines. Holy. Oh, and there's stuff over here. Ah! Okay, okay. Building roads. To get your city started and make it grow, you'll need to make it possible for both people and materials to arrive. Look around your map and find the roads that lead in and out of the map. Uh, when done, unselect the road, road tool by right mouse button or escape. <laughs> I, I need to know where the bull, bulldoze tool is. I need to know where the bulldoze tool is. You just see... You just see, like, Cozy Street. Look, it's so cozy that when you're in it, you'll be stuck there for fucking ever. Look, where's Cozy Street? Yeah, it's underground. I had to look underground again. There it is. <laughs> we found 300 bodies at the far end of Cozy Street. We had to dig through 20 meters of soil to get there. It was an absolute bloodbath. <laughs> Sheriff... Why have you decided that you're going to meow like crazy? Your life is literally blessed. You have like four cat castles. I bet you all the time. Oh my god. The mole people live there. Yeah, <laughs> taxpayer dollars at work. Still have built more than Elon Musk's boring company. It's kind of incredible. One sec. I have to just yell at the cat. She has been so bad lately. All right, so we did it. We built a road. Uh, where's the demolish button? Is it B? Yeah, there's the bulldoze button. Okay, no, no, we're, we're going to clean this up. Um, let's see, where, where are some of my other things? Map tiles? There's underground mode. Maybe there's a... Okay, oh, thank God. Cozy Street will return. No bulldoze sound. It's real soft. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn this off. Oh my god, Sheriff. This cat is harming me. Literally harming me. Alright, so cool. We did that. We built a road. Made a mistake? Don't worry. Alright, yes. Oh, oh, what a relief. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh my god. They learn they can get attention anytime by meowing. I know, it's been a nightmare ever since they've discovered they can communicate with me. I really gotta get a spray bottle back here because my cat has gotten progressively less fearful of me. I used to just go, Sheriff, and she would just like run away. Now I'm like, Sheriff. She's like, meow? Sheriff, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, it's okay. 
Okay. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get the little, the little goblin here. No, no, come here. <sighs> Where should we build a home for you? Where should we build a wonderful home for you? What should we do here? Let's figure out how to zone some residential. Yep, zoning areas, sure. Zone types. So, hey, so I can do just entire blocks like this. You can choose which theme. Okay, okay. So zoning should work the same way that it normally does. I just pick one and things of that zone will then begin to auto populate. So I don't make the buildings themselves. I just zone the area and then buildings themselves up here. Great. You can choose which theme the zone buildings follow. This affects the visual style of the buildings that get built in the area. Change the theme at any time. Change will come into effect for any new zoning you apply. So we have different tools to shape them the way we want. Keep in mind that for buildings to get built, the zoned area needs to be adjacent to a road and have enough space on it. <coughs> nice. Low density housing, right? Single family homes. So I can actually do a marque, so I can like fill like this if I wanted to. So here's what I think would be cute. So this is Robin Street. And Robin Street is a roundabout. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So if I close this and I go back to road, I'm gonna build a neighborhood for you right now. It's gonna be darling. It's gonna be really simple. That's where we're gonna dump our pollution, no doubt. Oh, whoa, I just realized how gigantic this area is. Holy, okay. Batman Street? Oh, we gotta name some streets. Okay, so I'm gonna create a little simple residential area for all of you right now. That's important to me. And it's gonna, I think you're gonna be pleased to hear, it exists at surface level. So let's see, what, what, what would you like? I think, I think that this is maybe a nice centralized area, but I think simple curve might be pretty good for you. So how, do, how does this tool work? If I do this? Ah, that's how we do it. Okay. So I think we're going to make ourselves a simple little curve here. me from doing work. And sometimes a cat just needs a car wash. Come here. Come here. We're going to do a car wash, okay? Look, it's okay. You just need... Both my cats have been so restless lately. <sighs> okay. I'm going to build for you a beautiful home. We're going to build for you a beautiful home. Here's how it's going to look. You know what? We say no to straight roads here. So here, here's the main boulevard, right? So people come into the city from here. We're going to make a little road here. It's going to be a beautiful curved road. It's going to kind of go... Bless you. Yeah, oh my god, this, this looks so suburban. Oh my god. Let's make another little one. The joins just like that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Bless you. Man, my cats are sneezing. This is a nightmare over here. Ah, oh my god, sneezing all over me. Alright, and let's let's actually join these these roads together. And this is just a simple two-lane road. I just I just want it. Great. So we have some we have some curves here. And now there's there's 
there's the wealthy among you. And all the wealthy here live on waterfront property. Elevated waterfront property. So let's go ahead and get this elevation. Oh, let's get out of the ground. We don't want Cozy Street all over again. That was a nightmare. All right, so let's... Let's start at this intersection. Oh, oops. So how does this work? So I, I left click first, and then as I'm out here, then I go up, up. Yo, that's pretty sick. So what if I went to, what if I went to 40? I know that in building this, I should only do powers of two, right? Oh, dude, this is some absolute lux. Oops, 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 we're doing this wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dude, I know exactly how we're going to do this. Dude, this is where we're, we're, we have some unbelievably nice freeway. There's some nice two-lane road stuff that, that's going to go land over to where wealthy people live. That's you. Just some nice waterfront property over here. Okay. Oh yes. Who wants to live down here? This is this is absolute lux real estate, okay? You literally you literally get to drive over lower uh, people that are not as chat wealthy as you. And maybe like what's chat wealth? It's really your channel points. A lot of people, a lot of people speed over this over this bump. This is not <laughs> Yeah, the, the, this is where our longtime subs live, right here. Let's, let's go ahead and do some medium roads. Oh my God! So wait, I can just like do this. Wait, how do we how do we replace this? Oh my God, that is so much better. This intersection is hell on earth, that's for certain. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to zoning. Oh yeah, let's fill. Hmm. So these are where all the longtime subs live. This is where the mods live. All right, if you ever feel that a zone is in the wrong place, you can choose to remove the entire zone. Or shape it by removing parts from it. Hold down the right mouse, paint the area you want to remove. So I can. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. I see. All right, so those are. So if I hold. Now they're getting demolished. Now they're staying. Okay. Condemned buildings. Buildings that already exist in the area you are zoning or removing become condemned. They are automatically demolished over time. For a faster building, you can bulldoze them. All right, cool. So let, let's go ahead and get some of the, the nice houses. Let me just tell you something. No one has bad houses in Day TV Town. Dude, that feels marvelous. So here's where we're gonna have some commercial areas here. It's a big shopping hub. I mean, you gotta you gotta drive a ways if you wanna. All right, that's good. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, I can't see anything. This is Lake Street. This is Magnolia Street. This is also Magnolia Street. <laughs> wow, this is a terrible naming convention. This is so bad. Why don't we name it, name it Day Night TV Town? Well, I don't know. You named it. You take responsibility for that. Commercial zones provide space for different types of businesses. Low density business. So, okay, so these North American style stores, boutiques, gas stations, supermarkets, restaurants, motels, bars, travel agencies. So, oops. Oh, space bar pauses? That's right, it's a self-respecting game. So I wanna see if I can like, do something like this. Simulation, pause the simulation temporarily, stop time. 
Oh my god, I'm Doctor Strange. This allows you to build, plan, and find solutions at your own pace. Once you're done, unpause the game to resume. Yes, yes. The apologies and dirt's in power, but our current capacity is simply not enough. I love that these are locked. <laughs> First, you have to build the homes, and then everyone suffers in the dark with no water. And then we unlock the ability for you to fix that problem. God, I love being a mayor. This is great. Uh, yep. Uh-huh. Simulation speed, yes. Okay, so let's, you know what, let's go ahead and fill in. And I don't want all of this to be stores. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Go over here, and you know, we get some more residential building. You know, I gotta be a little careful because I, I we have to get some some ways out of here. So let's let's go ahead and go back to our road tool, and just do kind of like a basic road that's gonna kind of curve like this through that area. Uh, I like I like sort of non-symmetric kind of bendy things. What? Oh my God, dude, 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 dude! dude. The instant I saw this come up, I thought that like my computer at home had just gotten some sort of notification to pop up. It scared the crap out of me. Oh my God. I looked at that, I was like, I don't you well actually, you know it's not Twitter because it would have been the letter X, but that's okay. I know what to do when I see the letter X on my social media. I do this. There you go. Um. Yeah, let's just create a road like that. I think that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, look, look, they're, they're, see that icon there? They're literally just pouring mud onto this. Isn't that fantastic? Oh my. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. Okay, so zoning industrial. All right, you want me to go back to zone some industrial? So I want to. I did, I did this. Okay. Industrial zones provide land for industrial businesses. Industrial industries provide jobs and increase the city's tax revenue. Of course, I know exactly where the industry should go. Remember when I said that this is where all the wealthy chatters lived? Well, I have good news. Your jobs are going to be right on the other side of the street. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. I wanted to make sure that you had an easy drive to work. <laughs> so you can take the industrial waste you produce during the day and dump it right in your backyard river after work. <laughs> Excellent zoning for industrial manufacturing. Okay, industrial companies are dependent on materials, so they work best near resources, they benefit greatly from good traffic. Connections in their immediate vicinity. Manufacturing creates pollution, so it's best to place these zones away from people's homes and groundwater deposits. I mean, I mean, how long are we live for? With another, uh, good, another four hours. Okay, well. I understand that we'll need a lot of traffic here, so. So this is wind. All right. Why is this zoned like this? Hold on, hold on. How do I remove? European? This was a thing. What 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 have I done here? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's right. You right-click to remove. Oh, thank goodness. 
All right, so we, we have some demand for industry. We have some demand for industry. So... So this is this is the main street through here. All right, well let's go ahead and build a medium road. All right, let's build a, a big old medium ass road. Let's first do the. Is this replace? So let's replace this. Let's... Wow, this replacement tool fucking sucks. All right, so what if I did this with a single family? We do this. There we go. <laughs> All right. They didn't idiot proof it. Therefore, it's bad. But I'm not an idiot. Okay. So let's let's. Uh, ooh, I know. Let's do Wiggly Industrial Town. So how does this work? Whoa. Whoa, Wiggly Industrial City. All right. It gets wigglier where we make waste. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's just fill them in. Oh, these bars give you a, a sense of what the zoning demand is. Fantastic. Great. Electricity. Awesome. Almost everything in the city needs electricity to work, especially Bitcoin. A well-working electricity grid keeps citizens happy and services running. Hmm. So far, I really like this city that I've made for you. The name of the city is, of course, Waigup Jalaku. All right, let's go ahead and make some of this. There's a variety of ways to generate electricity. And each choice comes with its own professionals and its conventions. Um, small coal power plant. That was a great source of high voltage electricity, but it generates a lot of pollution. Wind power is a source of green energy, but the output is completely reliant on weather. Hello. Are you okay, Sheriff? You're not Sheriff. All right. Come here. If I want my cat to move, I have to pet her. All right, so outside source. Electricity can be imported from neighboring cities by using power lines. It requires no maintenance in your part, but buying electricity with the population grows can get expensive. Choose a source of electricity. Absolutely coal. Probably going to build it right here. Yeah, I think, I think like perhaps in the middle of the most expensive district. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. All right, we have power. Ah, oh, there's like a lot of stuff popping up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just Did You just get off work? Well, congratulations. Welcome to work. Electricity info views shows an overlay of electricity flow throughout the city to help you spot weaknesses and solve problems. Electricity panel also shows detailed information about performance of the electricity grid. Oh, shit. What? What? There's so many. Oh, there's so many views. Oh, my God. Transformers, batteries. God, dude, this is gonna be so good, man. Oh yeah, and for those of you who are asking about my thoughts on performance, I had to do some configuring to make it run fine, and now it runs fine. It's not running like absolute butter. It's running fine, it's running fine. All right, uh, electricity flowing. Nice, so it shows this view that this is kind of obscuring. Can I move this? Nope. Uh, got time for a message you missed? Yeah, Ghosty. Once I'm done reading about electricity, I will check it. 
Electricity flow is animated to show how much electricity is flowing and where it's going. Low amounts of electricity are shown as short bars. When the electricity flow increases, the bars grow longer. Uh, short bars. What does that mean? So these are the bars that are moving. Okay. Pause it again. Okay. Um, there's a limit to how much electricity electric cables and power lines are able to transfer. Sure. When there's more electricity trying to flow through the cables and lines than they can Recent handle. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get I the situation the in media. hand. I hate the media. Local public service announcement. This is not true. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. What? We urge the public to remain we will calm not. during these breaks in service. We will not. That is absolute garbage. On how to plan for these temporary events. No, this is this literally is like absolute services. fake news. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the modern Second era. Moon Radio? Like most modern Music classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper. Using what is he fucking talking about? Imaginations as guides through a silent audio masterpiece. What? But here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Mm. Mm. But let us not tarry. Mm -hmm. On to the next rapisode. Rapisode? Did he just say that classical composers compose music by looking at a blank sheet of paper? That is crazy. That is like the most inaccurate thing ever, man. Ah, yes. Musicians looking at blank sheets of paper instead of sitting anywhere nearby a musical instrument. The rest was accurate, though? You mean the rest being... Mm, mm, that little gross noise he made every time I see a jar of Nutella? Yeah. All right. Um, the electrical grid will suffer. The result: buildings not get power. No electricity. Info is active. So, so there are throughput issues. Great. Electricity bottleneck. Oh, let's go. When electrical cable or line has exceeded maximum capacity, bottleneck will form. Bottlenecks will start to block electricity flow and cause buildings down line to not receive electricity. If your bottleneck resume electricity, you can need to bypass bottleneck by redirecting electricity flow, which you can do through transformer stations, great. Direct and inverted with power lines and transformer stations. That, so, was this the way that City Skylines 1 functioned at launch? <laughs> Is that, because I really like this. I was about to compliment this system, because I mean, I, I played in the really old, yes? Oh, get out, there's no way that it did that at launch. Or maybe you're not responding to me. Okay, a lot of you are saying no, not at all. That's great. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. Because, like, okay, th there is this kind of scaling issue with a lot of mechanics that I have played in city builders. Where, um, you know, in a, in a city builder like, say, Banished. Banished is a city builder where you are assigning jobs to each individual citizen. So if I'm at 12 citizens and I get a 13th citizen who is unassigned, I might assign them to hunting or fishing or something like that. And it's quite fun when you have small numbers. Once you get to a population of like 250, it becomes unfun. And I remember uh, in like really old city builders where you would like have to put roads and then put a bunch of power lines and then put a bunch of pipes. And it was basically like I built a road three times. And so I think that this is interesting where it's combined everything into roads. Sorry, I didn't mean to clap. Combines everything into roads. And then problems that might emerge dynamically, you have a subsystem of building power lines and transformer stations to fix problems. That's clean, jelly bean. All right, water. Show me what you got. Every city needs a good water network, not one that you only need for the next 24 hours. <laughs> That's the best joke I've ever made. <laughs> Is it okay to laugh at your own jokes? 
I am hilarious. All right, every city needs a good water network. Households, companies, and industries all need water to operate and survive. When the water system is working well, citizens stay healthier. Companies and services are able to operate without problems, such as death from dehydration. All right. Groundwater pumping station. Groundwater pumping stations can be used if your current city limits contain underground water deposits. Ah. Water pumping stations can be used if your current city has limits. Uh, uh, current city limits has access to open water. Ah. Water pumping stations are placed on the shoreline of any open water. Oh, great. Well, some of our. <laughs> okay. Okay, I mean this is this is some issue. All right, so what if I? Uh, okay, cool. Ah, this is groundwater deposits. Uh, choose a pumping station. Select the type of pumping station you want to start. All right, build a pumping station connecting water stations. Pumping stations need a road connection. If your station is already built next to a road, you're set in the station. If your station isn't connected to a road, you need to build one. Dude, I paused the game and it's just too dark right now. Okay, so we'll need to get a good old regular road. Get a wiggly one. Oops. <laughs> By the way, luxury housing. All of our mods are here. Oh my god, Koikva, man. It's great to see us just watching you. I watched you play a Necrophos game where you looked like you were crapping on everyone. I turned it off when you were in the game after that where you played CK. I hope it went well. And only those two games. I have no opinions about any of the other games that you have touched. But it's great to see a new bar opening up at 120 Lake Street. Hashtag grand opening. Okay. Let's close this. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone has raw sewage everywhere. Oh my god. Alright, notification icons are shown to highlight different situations. Some guide you in placing buildings and building roads. Others are signs of a problem in an area or a building. Alright, so the icon to see more information. The situation is clear, the notification also disappears. Okay. Alright, let's let's fix some sewage. I think that maybe everyone in these uh, buildings has simply spilled their coffee. And let me uh again, um, I'll probably be, wind up saying this with some repetition. If uh folks in chat could help be my echo, so that way I don't have to say it that much on air. But the, there are performance issues. I did not have to work that hard to get it to run quite smooth. Like, you you can see that it's it's doing a little hitch here and there, like, dad, you know. Because you can see, like, as I'm waving my hand, my hand looks fine. My hand is not hitching. I don't have hitch hands. Frame rate is okay on, on me. And so I'm encountering some performance issues, and... Not, not enough to make me turn the stream off like I did with Starfield, which completely detonated my computer, and not enough to, um, yeah, not enough to mess with my stream, not enough to mess with my experience. There's a tutorial task waiting for you. Oh my god, I know, leave me alone. Sewage. A good sewage network is essential to a city. If sewage is not properly managed, it can have negative effects on the city and its citizens, because then everyone needs to crap on the floor. Sewage pipes are included in the road utility network. Separate pipes can be built to connect sewage outlets that are not connected to a road. Great. Ah, so this is water and sewage. Great. Uh, as clean water is used, it can become sewage, sewage outlets, expel the wastewater from the water network. Basic sewage processing facility that pumps wastewater out into the environment can be upgraded with additional settling tank and chemical purification system. So let's see here. Is 
So this just, it just clips on. Oh my god. <laughs> a single sewage pipe can connect sewage outlets to all road utility networks. Okay. Okay, so we're at minus 10 meters. Oh, yo, look at this. This is sick. Bro. So if I go... So if I place it here... Oh, I see. So that's at street level. So... What in the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, control Z. Escape. Oh, God. Build a straight fucking thing. Okay, with this. How do I get it to fucking connect? I can get it to go deeper. Wait, wait. Ah! Ah, God! Ah! Hold on! Show me the underground mode! Bulldoze it! Bulldoze it! Ah! And then click on this. Get the t pipe. Well, how, how do you connect this? So it's over here. Do I need to like do it like that? Yes, that's the answer. Yes, I do. Oh, I see, because these are homes. Oh, oh, because Lake Street is a street. So I want the street sewage system connected to the sewage outlet. This represents the sewage going in and out of that house, so I don't want the entire city's sewage passing through this fucking guy's house on its way to the ocean, slash the river. I don't know, all bodies of water are the same as far as I'm concerned when it comes to depositing pollutants. This is amazing, the idea, this guy lives here, all the city's sewage is going through his house, right into his backyard. <laughs> this is also where the drinking water is pumped. <laughs> such a good job for your city. I'm doing a really good job. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh. Oh my god, that's so funny. Now, before I resume, my alarm just went off. <laughs> before I get back to building hell, which is where I'd love all for you to move in, um... <laughs> I have an announcement. Uh, so, twice a year we run something that we call DK30. And what DK30 is, is every one of us picks some sort of personal project, something we want to work on over the course of the next 30 days. And then we all start it on the same day, November 14th. We all work on our projects, give each other support, plug along, until we get to December 14th, at which point we high-five each other. No matter how far along or behind we are with respect to our goals, our wish is to be farther along than when we started. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesteryear. Now, when it comes to choosing a project, one of the reasons why you might pick something is maybe it's like you need to clean out the garage, you've never gotten around to it, and maybe you want to write a novel and you've never gotten around to starting it. By focusing on what is something you can get done with in 30 days, not like ultra long term, but just what am I gonna do for 30 days? Maybe it's go to the gym three times a week. Maybe it's write 5,000 words a week for your novel in between your existing work obligations, things like that. These are the kinds of things that we all do in our DK30 projects. Now, if you're curious about more information, you can go to our website, day9.tv, and you'll see DK30 at the top for instructions on how to participate. Also, we're doing a game jam. And if you'd like to participate in joining teams, we're doing something a little different with assembling. Ouch. Assembling teams this year. And if you go to our Discord, you'll see three separate channels where you can create projects, where you 
and say, hey, I want to join a project, and others that are updates of those projects and progress. Blind Mouse is funny, you should use novel writing during NaNoWriMo month. Yeah, no, we, we try to make sure it has an overlap with NaNoWriMo. All right, sweet. Continue. <laughs> wow, someone understands exactly the mess we might have wound up in. You've completed your tasks and now have the basic knowledge of how to build a city. Going forward, more tutorials and hints will pop up to guide you on your way. If you feel like you no longer need guidance, you can pause. Great. You can always view old tutorials by accessing that. Would you like to continue building this city or start a new one? We've already made a great city. All right. City service building has no road access. Fix the issue by building a road. You can also solve the issue by relocating the building next to an existing road. Upgrading, oh my god, there's too much information. Upgrades provide things such as higher capacity. Okay, cool. I'm gonna ignore all this. So what, what do we think doesn't have road access? Oh, dude, OH Furniture. Chirps. Citizens, city services, and companies chirp about their situations and opinions. Wow. Are you sure they don't just post? Don't they just post and repost and get views? Chirps are often about problems and successes in the city and reflect how your citizens are feeling. Chirps are also often because someone is in line at the DMV. You can use this to guide city development decisions. Sherper information. Really, this is the grand opening? We will eat under the crane. <laughs> you are literally not opening. You are so full of shit. I just love this weather. Not too hot, not too cold. It's only 3.6 Rungton outside. Okay, so this is... Okay. High rent. Trouble paying rent. Higher zone density or different zoning might be needed. All right. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, this is this is so good. Oh my god, there's so many good elements of this design, man. So good. Like the fact that there are these milestones that I have. What is this, landscape? The ground can be shaped and formed? Pfft, I'm not in the mood to play Populous 2. Theme, European style. Yeah, I think it seems fine. So so now, now we get to see this in daytime. Uh, Ghostarker says, nice message from Sir Render. 80 months, what a time. This does not include the times I watched you on blip.tv, where it would roll over to your first video on there once the latest episode ended. I met you at Gamescom many years ago, and yesterday I got the engagement ring from my girlfriend, so while I wasn't necessarily a part of your life, you were one in mine. Thanks, DJ. Sean Felix. Ah, Sir Render. Congratulations on getting the ring. Dude, proposing? Totally, totally a blast. Totally sick. I'm a husband now. Oh, being a husband kicks ass. Wishing you, wishing you the finest. Living in your industrial areas is terrible. The pollution, uh-oh. So, does this mean... Okay, so I, I have some questions about the electricity grid. So why would this not be getting a connection here? Oh, it needs connection on both ends. So if... We've got an achievement! Yeah! All right. Your efforts are bearing fruit, and your city has taken its first steps towards success. Uh, so this is... I have plus one of this and plus three of that. Progression panel. Milestones represent the growth of your city. Oh, I can get loans. Development point into advanced city services. Expansion permits used to purchase new map tiles. Oh, it's so good. Oh, 
Okay, so so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to build a Overlapping items. Oh. Okay, I, I literally don't understand. All right, hold on. I got. I gotta. I gotta turn this chirper off, man. This is a nightmare. A new electric cable is not connected to the network. It's so dark. Dude, how do how do I literally turn this off? This is starting to be like my real life here. How do you how do you options? How do you disable chirpers? How do I how do I blunt the chirpers over here? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, everyone. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't turn this off. You can't turn this shit off. I can't turn. Oh my god. Oh god. This is this is a nightmare. At zero percent on Steam. You can do it in settings interface. Even see it yeah all right oh i love this game this game's awesome 10 out of 10 on steam all right so i i clearly did something wrong here underground view get me out of here how much money do i have like a million bucks so maybe i need to build I did it. So I see. So this is, if I get out of this menu, it looks like this is the general electrical production for the city. And this is like my mega transformers that can go outward. to become daytime. Ruins my yard's view, how dare you? Oh, well, a disciple, how dare you think you would live on this premium real estate? You're back here over on Lake Street, which, now that I think of it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. The name of this is Batman Street. This is Magnolia. Um, Performance Avenue. Why, why are all these roads Performance Avenue? Lafayette Street. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. It's Hat Street. Nice. This is also Batman Street. Beach Street. This is Sewage Lane. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go back to the gameplay. Um, let's do gameplay, day-night visuals. Nah, I just want it to be daytime. I want to see my stuff. How many can I find enough employees? So, 
we need some. Oh, dude, we need some. We need some more. Some more residential. So this is health care and death care. Okay, that's not a real word. Garbage management. Okay, that's what I do professionally all day. EU medium. Now oh, we're gonna some North American. Let's let's rezone all these nearby. Cause like I, I want there to be like sort of homes far away, and then I want all the apartments to be kind of near. That's fine. Oh, that's actually happening. Great. All right. Let's do some low density over here. Nice. No, there's no one to work here. Consumer apparel at 140 Batman Street. Son Asana. 134 Batman. Lopo. What is this? Oil and gear garage. Uh, what is this? The channel where the classics never grow up. Uh, what, what sort of services do you need as subscribers? Subscriber joint repair. Seems good. That's where you go when you're, the bendiness on your knees and toes feels a little off. Has, has those been zoned for residentials? Great. We just need more commercials. We need, we have more commercial demand. Wow, we're, we're, we're just like twitch, twitch and it looked at its uh, revenue for last year. Um, this is such a bad joke. Um, oh, we're getting more population, we're getting more happiness. It's the only place for commerce to exist. Because people work and they go home, but they don't have a place to com to commerce enough. So, let's go ahead and get some roads up in here. Three lane asymmetric road, two lanes going one way, one going the other. It works well, especially for turning lanes in an intersection. Oh. I mean, I can't think that that well. I'm not. I'm not some sort of expert city planner. Much, much probably to your shock. Um, let's create a little mall area here. We sure are demolishing a lot of shit. All right, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some do some more zoning. Yeah, let's get little little commercial areas here. All right, yeah, what what's this? Any trains in the game? Can I build a city that's mostly trains? Ugh, you need to get the next Facto Factorio expansion if that's what you want to do, my dude. Okay, now first, I just want to appreciate some stuff. Okay, I, we got to name some roads here really fast. What, what is this one? This is Cherry Street. Um... Fear Street. Oh, this is Hamilton Street. Bonebrock Boulevard. Boulevard. 
All right, what, what is this? We have Fear Street, Abraham's Lincoln Hat Street. What is this? Snorkeler Drive. This is Umber Street? No, this is... Consequences Part 2 Street. Uh, what else do we have over here? Birdsong Street? Oh, that's a fucking great name for a street. I love that. I'm at the intersection of Birdsong and Bone Broth. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. What is this? What are these? Oh my god, look at 610 Performance Avenue. What do we have over here? This is Primeval Petrol. Did I name that? <laughs> Bone Bros, the sad beat. Yeah, we need to get Bone Bros Street coming up. It's already nicer than any American city. What's this? Waiting for a hearse? Oh, we don't have any health care or death care. All we have is despair. Um, this is not, this is looking really good. Okay. Good health care system helps prevent diseases and untimely deaths by treating the sick and injured. Yeah, I, I will put it absolutely at the intersection. Bird song and bone broth. So this is okay. So healthcare clinics and hospitals. Sick citizens visit clinics and hospitals for treatment on their own. If they're in serious condition, an ambulance will be sent out to pick them up. Medical clinics and hospitals have set ambulances at their disposal. There's limit amount of patients. Okay. Small village. Small village. All right. Oh, I see. So, okay, build a medical clinic. Great. Oh, upkeep 105,000 a month? Oh. All right. I also probably need a death care clinic. Oh, no, it's over here. Ah, ground pollution. The ground is getting polluted. Ground pollution is affecting the health of citizens. Ground pollution is created mainly by industrial buildings and some city service buildings. There's a... I gotta pause this game. One thing that I actually find more overwhelming than anything is the notification. It is the notification. I can't stand when my phone is going and when an application is like, did you know there's a great way to re-optimize your to-do list? And like, oh, fuck off. Like, I'll look at it when I have time to look at it. And dude, this game, some of the notifications that are coming up with like chirps and like, you did stuff, congrats. Stuff happened, there you go. I'm, ah, can't even handle it, man. Can't even handle it. I genuinely think that the very, very worst, worst invention of humanity of the last 20 years is a notification. All right, we're out of water. Time to start pumping it over on Batman Street. So, all right, says so this game seems a little complicated. Is it good for your average casual gamer? Dude, this game is not complicated. Not in the way of, oh my God, I need to read all this stuff before I'm able to do things. Like it is not that in the slightest. Navigate to the ground pollution info panel. Oh my god. Found it. <laughs> All right. I suppose it's over here by the brown ones. Across all households. I see. Um... Oh yeah, we need we need a hearse. All right, so let's get some death care in there. Whoa, my frame rate! Oh god! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> death care symmetry.
probably put it over here by the industrial park. Get me out of this view. There we go. Hey, my frames are back. Cemetery. Uh, what 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 should this what should this be called? What's something funny that we had but is now lost? Ah, frame rate memorial <laughs> graveyard. <laughs> That's too good. That's actually, thank you. Thank you very much. I, it didn't, I mean, it should have been the first thing I thought of. That's so good. Zamru, that's, that's really good. The frame rate memorial graveyard. In honor of when we used to have a good frame rate. Yeah. Yeah, see, see, over, over here, over here is the frames that I would have had playing Starfield. May they rest in peace right there. Yep, over here is the first time I opened up the menu to build actually this graveyard, and that's over here on the right side of this. It's kind of a fractal graveyard. Okay, so now what we're going to do is one of my favorite things. We're just going to look at stuff. Doppelbach? Alright. This is, this is actually Ghost... Stalker's emote factory. No, this is not. This is Ghost Stalker's fan hammer plant. It's over on the, the end of Performance Avenue. <laughs> wait. Wait, why is this Performance Avenue? No, no, this is... Um... Mod Street. Sure. Half a grain. What's the address here? Does it just delete the address? Requires vegetables and livestock. Company Doppelbach? Oh, no. Why do Banhammers count as food? Because you can't live without them. This shows me some things that I need to do. I see. I can get you all educated. Who's this? Rebecca Chambers. Huh? Huh? Ah. All right. So let's let's actually go over here to where the mods live. What is this? Ground surrounding pollution is negatively affecting the building's occupants. Oh no. Residents? Who, who, who are the residents of this household? On 356 Batman Street. Oh, I can see it right over here. What's your FPS? How delightful. Hold on. Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? <laughs> Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes. <laughs> A raison d'etre. Mm. <laughs> what did he just <laughs> try? Did he try to say raison d'etre? Oh, uh, raison d'etre. d'etre. Pinky. But I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical yeah. music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Come on in. They say Come here. Is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cants. In today's news, the region's birth rate figures have just come out. That's right. Is that J.K. If Simmons? If rate continues to drop, we'll be looking at downsizing the city for the next generation. <laughs> and that will affect everything <laughs> from business and employment to city services. That's right, Jim. We'll be back after this. No one wants to have babies to in this town. Story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores. 
bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Oh my god. Oh, that was great. Nice. I didn't realize that this was maxed out. I was wondering why things were happening, like, so quickly. This, this is a sedan. Now this... is a red horse. Okay. Oh, dude, these roundabouts are so good. So, roundabouts? Oh, dude, I'm slowly unlocking more stuff. Alright, we have 794 of you. It's kind of impossible to see, but I, I have 1.4 million currencies. Current trend, minus about 1,300 an hour. This is pretty nice. I mean, this tree just disappears if I... Is it just gone forever, that tree? All right. See, I have too many roads. I want a city that's walkable. Dude, look at this dog. It's Bean. Oh, dude, I love Bean. What up, Bean? Holy shit. Raymond Summers and Rachel Marley, who are having a little flirt off here. Who's this? This is Chili. <laughs> Holy shit! Chili's just literally on a sidewalk by himself. That's incredible. How many animals are in this place? Whoa! Population view shows a number of different statistics regarding your citizens. The numbers give a breakdown of how the city is doing in terms of births and deaths, people moving in and out, and the status of employment. Asian demographic population needs to be uh, can be used to guide city development. For example, children and seniors cannot work jobs. Only adults can reach the highest education levels, and the elderly require more health care. Heat maps. Show me things. Uh, oh, my camera's frozen. My camera's frozen. Duh. Look at me. I'm like, duh. Duh, duh. I was looking, duh. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. Hold on, let me go ahead and uh, deposit that frame over in the cemetery, in the frame rate memorial graveyard. Children and seniors cannot work jobs unless we're playing Frostpunk. This little, this little tuft of hair is doing a lot of heavy lifting for my male pattern baldness, that's for sure. This little tuft right here is where it's at, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, so malding is when you're mad and you're balding. But what if I'm proud? Would I be prolding? Is that the word? What if I, what if I feel completely fine while I'm balding? Am I falding? What are other portmanteaus that involve balding? All right, so where, where are the dogs? How do I, where's my dog tracking? Dude, the post-processing on this is nutty. Liliana Easton. Cameron Marley. Scalding, if you're scared and balding. <laughs> I'm absolutely prolding, man. I'm a proud balding gamer. Oh! Oh my god! It just... Whoa! This is exactly how driving is like in Los Angeles. Uh-oh. This motorcycle is doing its uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance impression. Dude, I love looking at stuff. These intersections are just so trash. 
See, I like doing funny things. It, it pleases me greatly to know that there's some homes from our residents over here that are... Who lives here? Oh, I can rename. Oh, yeah. So this, this person right here, Raymond Rosales, this is Ghost Stalker 88. Oops, there you go. You live at 356 Batman Street. Remember the Rosales family? No, the Day 9 TV crime family. And that's what you are. Member of, that's great. All right, so Ghosty, you live in the smallest house on the intersection of Batman Street and Sewage Lane. <laughs> How are you doing? You're sad. You have a spacious home with ground pollution and the polluted air and the high noise and abundance of leisure time. Reliable healthcare coverage. You know. I just like seeing stuff happen. Let's, you know what? Let's get some education in here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Close all this stuff. There was terraforming, right? Landscaping? The ground can be shaped to build gardens, pastures, sanctuaries, reservoirs, flood channels, and more. There are a wide variety of different ground shaping tools. Check each tool's description for more information. This is a tooltip that tells you to go read a tooltip. That's basically how mobile game advertising works. <laughs> in this mobile game, we'll have advertisements for other mobile games. But people aren't playing our mobile game. Let's advertise in other mobile games. Oh my god. I don't know how anyone fucking makes money outside of Apple. Increase or decrease the brush size for large scale. Yep, you got it. So this is shift terrain, level terrain, soften terrain, slope terrain. Brush strength. Whoa! 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 It's so continuous. Look at that. Whoa, dude. Uh, high atop a hill, the elder thus spake. For every coin, there is an equal and opposite bird. This is where we're gonna fucking go to school, dude. What if I lower the brush strength? Oh, that's the level tool. Is it changing? What the fuck, man? Where's your in-between? Ah. Ah, ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, shit. <laughs> fuck, it's really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. I used too much brush strength. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's level it. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Where's Control-Z in this game? What? I see. So it, it takes level like way too fucking seriously. All right, so soften is what I'm looking for. Okay, hold on. I, I really want to build a new city after this, but that's okay. Fuck me, the, the strength of this brush. Hold on, I'm gonna go over here and do the shift terrain. So if I, okay, so let's let's lower this down. Nothing happens. 20%. Yeah, this is... Oh, dude, the, the citizen happiness is increasing as they're seeing the phallus expand in the distance. Okay, let me shrink this back down. But if I go down to 15%, fucking nothing at all. 15 is the same thing as zero in the city of Y Gut Jalaku.
Wait. Is it doing something? Wait. Do you think it's changing? I don't think it's changing. Do you think it's changing? I don't think it's changing. Yes, but barely. Well, you know, let me go. Let me go to twenty percent. Oh, you know, let me actually go to forty percent real fast here. Oh, you know, let's go. How high does the brush strength go? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that brush is so strong. It's <laughs> Do you want to go to school up on top of the mountain? Just take Batman to straight up street. <laughs> okay, let me How do I how do I lower this? Let me go, let me use my Oh shit. Oh okay, let me just try to shrink it back down. Oh <laughs> I might keep it. Um. <laughs> okay, I'll let me, let me just level out some terrain here a little bit. Let me, um, you know, let me just do this. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, let me. Okay, it's not quite working. Not quite working. Oh, I see the br the brush strength of leveling is too hard. How does this fucking tool work? How does this fucking tool Okay, I think I understand. So this is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper. He said that like an hour ago. Only their imaginations as guides through a silent, audio masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Mm. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. Unto the next We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right. Today we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly <laughs> what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Now that's a wild overstatement. <laughs> are you trying to make people panic? Pam, did you did you say panic? She <laughs> said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer Amazing. shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. So Thanks, Jim. Here's how we'll I think the tool would work based upon other tools that I have used, which is that if I click here, this is the height level. And my assumption would be that if I move this way, it will make things match that height level, which you can see is basically what is happening here. But I thought that what would happen in other editors, if you click here and then sweep over to here, it would remember that this height, let's say that this is 20 meters above sea level, if I clicked and then dragged out like this, it would just grab this 20 meters and make this 20 meters from sea level. I think what it is doing is it is taking whatever the current center of the circle is and applying it outward. So let's test that. So if we go to this area, right where my mouse cursor is, if I hold it, 
Yeah, it just evens to what that spike is. Yeah. So it, it basically just grabs what that elevation is. But I have to be careful because it will actually move my mouse cursor location. Nice. Well, these look kind of sweet. Maybe this is how our city looks. So if I want to level this, what I need to do is I need to hold this button. Oh god, this is a nightmare. What I need to do is I need to hold this button, and I need to move... Why the fuck is it raising up? If you... Hold on, hold on. Okay. And these should be the same level now. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I think, I think I'm learning something. Okay, so here's how I believe that this tool works. Okay. Okay. And then if I click here... I've QA'd the game. I figured it out. Okay, so suppose that the first time that I select this, I I then hold left click, and it will make all the surrounding area the same as the center. So notice that this is at this height, and so if I slowly drag out, look at that, look at that. It all stays the same level of flatness. Ooh, what if I want to have a little plateau down here? I can hold it like that, and now it is trying to get everything to be the center of this lower thing. So look at that. I've made myself a little plateau and completely destroyed the stream. Oh my god. But if if you right click on an area. So if I right click like see if I right click here once this sets the the height and then if I hold level, it will move things to be that height. No matter where I am. So now if I come over to this area, it should flatten because it's going to that height when I right clicked. And if I unselect and reselect, it goes back to just capturing whatever the current height is. So here, that's the current height. Or if I click up here, that's the current height. QA9 TV, where we learned to, we, we just, we QA things. Let me increase the brush strength. That goes way down there. Gotta be careful. Alright, so we gotta figure out how to wetten this again. So we're doing it. All right, so now if I use the soften terrain tool, I should be able to just... Oh, that looks like shit. <laughs> I 
gonna do like this, and I can soften my brush. Okay, this is good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften the terrain, so that way it looks just more like normal shit instead of. That soften tool is fucking killer. Dude, I mean, this actually allows me to make this... I mean, this this part looks like absolute irredeemable garbage, but... Let's actually level this terrain out more. Oh, that's quite nice. And then we can just soften it here. Oh, dude, that is... Mmm, that's fucking killer! Oh, shit, that's good. I mean, now the only thing that's weird is this fucking thing. <laughs> All right, um, which I'm pleased to announce is gonna stay in the game. All right, so let's. All right. Now you might be like, what on earth is happening here? Education, my friends. Education. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's let's level this. Okay, alright. We're gonna build a school. This is where your education happens, right here, man. Mm, 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 mm. School. Elementary school and a high school. How big is a high school? Okay, wait. Wait, dude, 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 dude. I, I've got it. We're going to put the high school on the highest terrain in the game. Highest terrain. This is, this is the high, it's high, it's high, it's high school. Okay, so we're going to... Let me increase the brush strength. There it is. I love getting education. The altitude is high, so you really have to pay attention so you don't pass out. Alright, where's the high school? Oh, we fucking did it. Does it just fix the terrain for you? This game rules. It just, it just, it fucking handles it. I mean, that looks a little weird from afar. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look, 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 look. What a precarious place to put your elementary school child. But that's what this town is about. Carry his business. Oh, no, actually, maybe over here. Ooh. Okay, so first things first. We're going to need to build a... The game... The, look at this. The game is just solving it. It's just like, yep.
Okay. Okay, so let's see here. How do students enter into this building? It's not clear to me actually how you get to school. Hold on, I need to up my brush strength. Let me give myself a little room to work with here. I mean, as dumb as this is, this is so fun. Little trees. Ooh. Helipad. Hello, welcome to Wealth High. You must have a helicopter to come to school. And your grade will simply be a printout of your parental income. Oh, I gotta do this. That's what's going on. I can zone this area. zone in that shit, like, 100%. You, like, you know for, like, 1,000% chance I am actually zoning this shit. Oops. This is Second okay. Moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners... First, we will be dancing through the al dent section before entering the slower Largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious anti-pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise I the curtain. I feel that I have broken the game. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy is talking about? Is housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps, yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has oh my god, yes, we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. Okay, yeah, what do we, we need? We need more industrial. Public, right? Okay, so let's zone well, these you know, for industrial. Is we are selling it and bringing money into local. That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. All right. Oops. We need to do a curve thing. There we go. So we, it looks like we need some industry. We need some uh, higher end housing. Oh, what is this? NA medium density? Nice. I don't know why making something that looks so disorganized is just so funny to me. All right, game. Figure this one out. Autumn Street. <laughs> don't don't look down lane. Oh, that is actually such good technology. It ju it just evens it. Wow, that is really actually very impressive. That is it. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty smartly thought out. It just it works right out of the box. Look at that. 
Can't even tell this isn't a place that you don't want to ever live. I mean, like, and then all I need to do is I just need to go, hey, you know what, let's take this and let's just soften it with lower brush strength. Let's just level it first. Harder! So we pull up the edges, and what we can do is we can soften to make it look fucking terrifying. Oops, 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 that's not what we want to do. I had the soften uh, intensity too high. Let me just do this again. I left the fucking brush size height. Fuck. Farts. Danked. All right, so brush size. There, that doesn't look artificial at all. I did it. I did it. You would not believe the bill on simple baseball equipment at this school. Hell yeah. Oh, people want things to buy. No problem. You got it. Bam. Um... Actually, you know what? Destroy them all. Don't need them. Right across the street from high school high. You know, I, I actually am I'm gonna change this. I actually worry about these worry about these children. But over here in Ghost Stalker's house, maybe this is where we actually want more of the more of the stuff. Ooh, I actually know what we could we could, we could make a little road here. Grabs here, and then it goes up 30 meters. And then it connects back down at elevation to here. There we go. I mean, I, I'm kind of just messing with these tools, and it is nice as hell, man. So let's see, what, what other things do I need to do? Education and, oh, research, that's right. Yeah, I did high schools, college, university, technical university, medical university. Oh, this is. I mean, this city looks so stupid, but this was so fun to make happen. We're here on Mod Street, a Birdsong Street. Yeah, Mod Street. I don't know how this game figures out that this is actually one contiguous street. It seems a little funny to me, but. High school on a cliff because it's the high school? You got a Thunderball, man. We take things literally. I would put the elementary school on top of an elementary if I knew what that meant. intersection of mod and mod not like this hospital it's at the intersection of bone broth and bird song put the university in a pit great idea i'll literally dump it right here so we need a road that like goes like spirals downward here actually no oh that would be that would actually be so sick let's do this let's see if i can do this properly This game is just trying to figure out how to get it to work. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Let's 
What's it not like about this? All right. Because w w once I feel like I understand the tools enough... Slope is too steep. I wonder what slope it thinks is too deep. Because I don't think it's too deep. Maybe if I just did a straight road. Well, that's the way that it is. Let's see what we just got. Uh, fire and rescue. Police administration. All right. I can't believe that it just lets me do this. This is magnificent. A city fit for a king. You're the kings. Uh-oh, we're, we're losing frames? Oh, oh! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god, I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on again. Oh my god! Turn it off. Turn it back on again. All right, I should come back. Hi, hi, I hope you like your frames back. So one of the things that I think this game does that is just absolutely marvelous, which is that if you look at, actually, let me remove this and see if I can do the zoning view. Um, is there just like a generalized zone view? Um, how Does anyone know how I might hide the houses? Because like when, when I do this, I can see these grids. Is there any way to see just the grid? Oh my God, we have so much traffic. Oh, that's really terrible, isn't it? We're losing frames. Ah, the fr the frames. Oh my God, the frames. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on again. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on again. Okay, hold on. Wait, just just wait. Uh, okay, turn it on. We're gonna turn it off. Okay. Why am I watching a slideshow? We need a round, we need roundabouts, oh God. Okay. Now this, this looks, this looks legitimately terrible right now. But I had a lot of fun with the tools and I think I've learned, I think I've learned enough I think I might want to make a new city. Will this lag be in YouTube too? Yeah, of course. Of course it will. Calm down, the city is so big you must expect slowdowns. <laughs> damn, Gifted Greedy, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wait, Gifted Greedy, are you watching on a television with your phone out to text at the same time? How'd you make that 180 vertical curve? Uh, what do you mean? Which one? Uh, can you label it by, by street? Is it don't look down lane? The intersection don't look down in Batman? Look, Batman Street, most of this city is Batman Street. Look at that. Don't look down lane? Yeah, what, what, what do you mean? I think nothing is sloping more than 20%. Iowa Bastion, the performance is just not that bad. Air is getting polluted. Oh no! Some city buildings by traffic spreads across the map in the air, affecting sea wind. I mean, like, it exists, but I, I did not have a hard time. I have a 2080 Ti. In the new computer, I have a 4090, so that's what I'm just saying. I think some of the things that cause performance issues are when people bring up these overlays. If I like wanted to look at this, or expect my frame rate to occasionally struggle. If I do this, I think this is the one that like really 
causes mortals. Wait, this is not the right one, is it? If I hit this one? Yeah. yeah this is the one that, like, really struggles. I see my frames kind of having some issues. Especially if I started doing this sort of thing. You can see it's kind of... But that's just for you. For me, it actually looks it looks all right. Not enough work. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. And it could also we be that when things really start to scale, it turns into a nightmare. That's right. Today, we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's Gravel, not exactly rock, railroad. These death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, Pedestrian that gives me the oh, That's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say so this panic? Is, this is she just said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay. See, I want I want the radio, but I don't want the chatting. Is that a way to do that? Oh, no, because that's the radio, so it should be. Wait, what? What? Um, there's music only channels. Oh, thank God. Hey, hold on, hold on. Is anyone seeing my keys? Industry in the... We've recently been... Oh. 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 Oh! Ah! Don't let like commercials interrupt your mutant turn ads on or off here. Okay. Oh my god, this game comes with an ad blocker. It's a relief. Alright. Oh. oh. Smooth beat. Oh, dude, you know I'm getting demonetized on YouTube. Let's go, demonetization. Let's go. Uh, uh. That's right. You know that someone is coming in and being like, I would like to take all this ad revenue right now. And YouTube's like, automatically sent to the stranger. Let's go. Love this track. Uh. Oh, oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, someone got Fruity Loops yesterday. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yes, stomping sewage next to the place where I pump in water. All right, let's go. I want to see if anyone can make it here. Pacific Street? Hmm. You like walks. All right. Oh, dude, the seasons are changing. Everything's getting brown. Oh, a new signature building available. Residents enjoy the atmosphere of this smooth, luxurious building. Oh yeah, dude. This <laughs> sense is my first trap beat. It do it does have the feel of someone that was just like, all right, I'll I'll bang out five of these in an hour. Areas? You can adjust any specialized industry area after it's been created. I can't fucking focus at all. Sounds pretty good though. I am both into this beat and also can't believe this is in a city building game. Hold on, let me, let me go to the next track. Hold on, I'm going back to the radio.
Hey, baby. The air pollution in the city is getting worse and worse every day, and you look so fine. <laughs> I heard that the birth rate is dropping rapidly. People might not be living here much longer, baby, but tonight it's you and me. <laughs> Do you want to go all the way up to the high school and all the way back down to my house where we can go all the way back down together? Hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's do something about that birth rate. You know it's Stratus 29. Oh, yeah, what else do we got on this track? Mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, let me get a view of the city while we do this. Oh, great. Brick by Brick by Grand FX. I don't know what this song really wants yet. Oh, oh. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Why Gup Jalaku is definitely really lovely in the fall. Alright. Serverside Squid says this is YouTube phone slash laptop reviewer music. Oh yeah. So I picked up my copy of the iPhone 72 at the store today, looked at it, screen looks good, seemed fine, dropped it a couple times in my new phone case, which by the way is a sponsor of today's video. Didn't crack once. Overall integrity looked pretty good. Oh wait, it changed. I, it ruined my flow. Hold on, let's let, let's go to a. <laughs> you know that sort of crisp, fast way that reviewers talk. I looked at this, did that, did that. Didn't seem to be an issue. But then I looked at this. This has a great A, B, and C. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is the YouTube channel that shows exotic cars. They spend a lot of money on cars and not on production value. Let's go. We just increase the bass on the beat. Oh, yeah. This car also has four wheels. And they're just like zooming in on shit. Yeah, I went down to the track to give it a drive. And then they just say shit that can't actually be communicated. Wow, you gotta feel the power when you push your foot onto the gas pedal. You really feel a lot of power with this one. It shows them drive around in circles for like, probably they drove for an hour, but the supercut is about eight seconds long. He steps out of the car, shuts it behind him. Woo! Man, the power. He's just repeating himself at this point. The power, man. You gotta put your foot on the gas pedal here. Oh, all right. I'm out. See you next time. Don't forget to hit that bell icon that no one's ever fucking hit once in their life. Let's, let's keep going. Morning Glory from King Major. Oh, I need to hit the play button. Okay, sorry, I'm a Luddite. I've actually never used a computer. I, I'm a fraud. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. This is someone explaining how they code something that isn't that complicated. That's what I think this is. Hey guys, so I was really interested in making something that could sort of list a list. Let's just walk through how I did it. So first what I did is I created a data structure that would record the list. And I was thinking maybe I could make this recursive, spend about four hours trying to make it work, decided just to not make it recursive. I can just store a list of lists inside of that original data structure. After that, come on track, keep going. We got to get to the next part. After that, what I did is I went ahead and tried a number of different sorting algorithms. Isn't this a little too on the nose? Try a number of sorting algorithms. And of course, you know, I tried my, my usual stuff. I tried a bubble sort, tried a traditional merge sort, and I just decided to myself, <laughs> yeah, I'm a trust. <laughs> I just decided to myself, bubble sort of work pretty good. Went ahead and put it up and let's see the results. There it is, assorted lists of lists. All right, let's, what, what else do we got here? We heard this one already. Oh, back to Bronx from Katie Maine. Oh my goodness. 
Oh. <laughs> the radio is so good, the rest of the game is on pause for now. No, the, the city is just piloting itself. This is why you don't do that much once you get elected as mayor. Change stream type to just chatting? You couldn't pay me a million dollars to do that, Gunnam the Grey. I know Zoomers. They need to have a game in the background to even pay attention to me. Yeah, I think the city's... I think, I think we're good on this. Might add some vegetation. Hold on, let me get my vegetation beats on here. Oh. Trees, bushes, greenery. Theme. Plants and trees are regional. So different set is available based on what's currently selected. Tool mode. Yeah. <laughs> I have that mode enabled for myself every day. Place multiple. Oh. Oh my god. We can tree spray. What is it? Pines? Wild green bush zero two. Wild green bush zero one. Look, it's like I'm scratching a turntable. Oh, wildflower bush. Oh, one. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Spruce, 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 spruce. Oh, we're going to vegetate so hard while we're vegetating. All right. Oh, what else do we got here? This is... Well, that's it. Hold on. Oh, let me up the brush strength. Let's go over here to where there's no people. We got to be careful. Oh, oh, oh. This is the opposite of a crop circle. <laughs> it's a tree circle. All right. Pine. And with my magic wand. It, look, it's a time lapse of my acne. Music is so good for this. The wild, wild bush 01. The wild bush 01 is lovely during the fall. How's the money looking? Dude, we, we are rapidly losing our city funds. We had 2 million of whatever this currency is, and right now we only have 1.4. Whoo, I'm doing, I'm doing worse than someone that held on to Bitcoin. Oh, dude, yes. Oh my God, look at that. City has freckles now. Signature buildings. Unique buildings you can unlock one by one as you fulfill the requirements. Bitcoin's going up right now, bad timing. Listen, I'll just wait long enough and then tell you to watch the VODs and that joke will have evergreen value. All right. This music is so time-lapsed for some kind of DIY project. Oh, you're right. This would be like someone who's going to make a table out of a block of wood with no narration. And they're just cutting stuff. And this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Hold it up to the camera, rotate a little bit. Putting it in. Holding it up to the camera a little bit. I fucking watch YouTube. All right, I got to turn this shit off. I can't pay attention. A housing shortage is driving up prices. We've recently been having... Shut the... There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah.